Log number three. Let's see what we can get into this weekend. So we're taking a road trip and we're going to a meetup. And if you haven't never been to one of these meetups, you need to go. It's simply just amazing just to get with other like-minded people, uh, like-minded makers, and just friends uh, that you talk with over the internet that you, you don't get an opportunity all the time to see them face-to-face -face and talk in person and uh, just fellowship. So we're going to go to a slip and slide party. Let's see what happens and what I can get into along the way. I gotta stop and eat first. So you hadn't lived until you had a pork chop sandwich from Snappy's, Mayberry, North Carolina. Wonder where you can get a haircut around here. Hmm. Excuse me, sir. You know where a fella around here can get a haircut? Well, this is a barber shop. And usually that's where people come when they want one here in town. Come on down to Floyd's Barber Shop. I think I want to get a haircut here. Well, I tell you what, you just have to step right on the inside here. We'll show you around a little bit. Nineteen twenty-nine. Everything in here, mirrors, cabinets, and sinks, and chairs, cash register. We're all bought new in 1929. Ain't all just haircuts. Shampoos. One barber, hardly any waiting. All right, Barney, you're done. Next! I have a little child shirt that was a gift today from a barber friend in Louisville, Kentucky. It's 95 years old. Wow. This is Americana history right here. Mm -hmm. And there's over 20,000 pictures up here on the wall. 40,000 more in boxes. So where would Andy sit when he got his hair cut? Well, there were, at one time the shop was bigger. There were just six barber chairs, these black and green ones. And all the barbers had cut Andy's hair until Dave came to uh, work here in 1947. And so this was my dad's chair. And this is where Andy sat when the real Floyd cut his hair here. That's awesome. So what's the chances of me getting a haircut? Well, I'd say pretty good. I, the crowd's kind of dwindled down a little bit. Just <laughs> you and me, bud. All righty, let's do this. This man right here is good. All righty. The best haircuts in Mayberry. Looking spiffy, Mark. We're going to fix you right. Located in downtown Mayberry, just steps from the courthouse. Best clip joint in town. All right, looking good now. Got Floyd cut my hair. Mark cut my hair. It's Floyd's barber shop. But... Andy. Justice of the Peace. And he's also the sheriff. You might see Otis's. Don't forget to wake me up Monday. That's the beginning of National Potato Week, and I want celebrate. <laughs> working today. Let's hit the road. Roll again. Just can't wait. 
We made it up through Virginia, a little piece of West Virginia, a little bit of Maryland, just hit Pennsylvania. So any makers in the area want to grab a bite to eat, hit me up. Hello, Internet. Whoa, whoa. I start my video saying hello, oh, Internet. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Sterling. Matt Hoss. How are you, brother? <laughs> awesome wood things. So love, love, love this beautiful piece. This is actually a Dwalt 788. Tell us about how you restored this, Matt. Well, um, I bought it used, and I wasn't sure of the quality, so I wanted to make sure it would last, so I tore it apart. I followed all of the conventional wisdom on the YouTubes to learn how to do it. I figured out that it really wasn't that complicated. It's a lot of steps, but nothing very hard. And then I, um, I documented the whole process and condensed it down to a super fast nine minutes. And that video is doing really well. But um, as you can see, I've got the Van Halen stripes on it. Which Beautiful. I just really love. And I even took apart the DeWalt logo and made my own nameplate here. <laughs> How you done that with the metallic? That's just gorgeous. Yeah. So this is a combination of scroll saw and CNC work. And this is... Um, yeah, this is reflective red letters of my last name, so I, I did that. I mean, I love Van Halen, I love the look, and I got inspired from this community. There was another maker that Van Halenized one of their pieces. It was uh, Steve Carmichael. Steve, yeah. yes. He has a, uh, a toolbox, and I even asked him, I said, Steve, I really love it. Do you mind if I do that to one of my tools? He says, you never have to ask me to Van Halenize anything. Van Halenize the world. <laughs> that's like, awesome. Yes. So speaking of the community, that's what we're here for. I'm here traveling up. We're going to a slip and slide party. We're going to Tony Willows. You're coming down, right? Oh, yes. I'll so we're going to have a blast. I'm stopping through this troll woodworkers on the way. <laughs> so, Matt, thank you for having me in your shop. Uh -oh. Appreciate breaking bread and pizza and drinks and... See you this weekend. Anytime, We're going to have a ball. Starling. You're always welcome at the Haas house. Awesome wood things right here. The link's going to be down below. This, this is humbling. You got to come to Liberty Park and walk through here where the tire is adjacent to the Hudson across New York City for the Trade Center. It's actual piece of it. It's heartbreaking. <laughs> 